Hello Vinyl Community, George Allen here, LPs and CDs, and I'm doing a contest entry for Jonathan at Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. Boy, I've been watching Jonathan's channel for a long time. And uh, even before I had my channel, I was watching his. And I uh, always liked his channel. And he's got a, this contest going on, and he wants us to show uh, five different genres of records. And, of course, we have to subscribe and uh, make a video with these uh, five different albums. And... Uh, he wants us to dig deep. He says, just don't show the everyday mundane things, but wants us to go back into our collection, maybe something we haven't listened to in a while. And uh, I like that. I like a little bit of a challenge like that. And so that's what I did. And I got um, five here. I don't think I've, uh, well, I may have shown one or two of these. I think I've shown two of these, but I haven't listened to these things in a long time. And I'm glad he did this contest, but it gives, gave me a chance to listen to them again. I had to clean them first, and I don't think I was cleaning, uh, well, what I was cleaning off of them, I don't want to talk about. So anyhow first category that I'm going to show, oh, by the way, the gift he's given is says we can pick uh, two categories of records that he wants and he'll send them out of his collection. And he's got a fine collection. Well, he's probably got a few losers, but he got a lot of good stuff. So anyhow, first uh, category I got, I chose was jazz. And this isn't anything I've shown before. And it's not going to be your typical jazz that I normally talk about, but Buddy Rich, big band, and this is called the new one. And uh, you know, being a, a drummer myself, um, I was enthralled when I was younger with Buddy Rich. And I've seen him three times with this big band. And I actually saw him one time with a Philharmonic Orchestra. And uh, this is on uh, um, Pacific Jazz. Am I hold that right? Yeah, it's Pacific Jazz. I've had this. came out in 1968. I got it when it came out. And I was excited to listen to it. And it's a very, very fine album. Mighty Rich Big Band. The new one. When you flip it open, there's the whole cover. Very, very good album. Um, he does this one song on here that really, really rocks called The Machine. And uh, they do some slower stuff, but I'll tell you what. Buddy Rich's big band was not your typical big band sound. He wanted to make it sound new. So he could attract um, younger people to it. And I like it a lot. Buddy Rich. The new one. Second one, Psych Rock. Mr. Flood's Party. I think I brought this up once before. This was an album I discovered in 1969 on Cotillion. This, these were one of the first guys assigned to signed by Cotillion. And uh, this was based on a poem written by uh, some fellow, and I forgot his name now. Uh, but it's very, very interesting album. Very well done. Um, uh, these guys, uh, it was produced by three guys in the band. And... Uh, 
It's got Jay Hirsch, Michael Corbett, Freddie Toscano, Rick Barrage, Tom Castanero, and Marcel Thompson. And they show up on a, a few other things. Um, they get some um, other type of jazz rock work, but uh, I like this album. Very different. Uh, very good album, Mr. Flood's Party. Well worth a listen for. It's like rock. So that's my second category, blues. Blues, Boogie with the Canned Heat. Okay, and this is on uh, Liberty. This is uh, 1968. I've had this since 1968. Boogie with the Canned Heat. Blind Al Wilson and Crew. Great album. Great album. And... Uh, Some of these are, believe it or not, are and still, for me having them so many years, are in still very good condition. And I love the canned heat. They just had a way with them. Uh, they're, I, quite honestly, I was looking at their website. I think they still actually have a band going. They're... They've gone through a lot of changes. The original guy, I don't know if there's any of the, the original guys left, but uh, Blind Al Wilson, what a talented guitarist and harmonica player. He was something else, I'll tell you. Boogie with the Canned Heat, 1968. Rock. Rock and roll. Okay. How about some Fleetwood Mac? First album after Peter Green left. And in comes Danny Kerwin. And Danny Kerwin had a major influence on their music. And Jeremy Spencer. Between Jeremy Spencer and Danny Kerwin, they took the band to a little bit different level. More rockin' than blues. Still a little bit of blues influence, but uh, uh, mostly uh, rock. And uh, of course then, you know, later on once uh, those other guys joined, uh, then um, for me Fleetwood Mac was not Fleetwood Mac that I liked. I love Then Play On. Um, this is, a, to me, uh, I played, the, when I was in college, boy, I played this album to death. But, uh, yeah, this came out in 1970. Uh, I got Then Play On when it came out. But this came out in 1970. Then Play On came out in 69. This came out in 1970. Great album, great rockin' album, good songs on it. I'm not gonna go through the songs. I'll make this too long. My last category is musical soundtracks. And I love Music Man. Yes, I did. Oh, my whole train on Music Man. Yeah, Robert Preston, wow. This is really some uh, some good stuff here. This is from the um, I think this is from the broad. This is not from the movie. This is from the uh, original cast. I think this is from the yeah Broadway cast. But I saw Robert Preston. He was in the in the movie, and uh, there were just songs that uh, I really liked. Trouble in River City with a capital T. And uh, great music, great music. And this came out in 1958. Though no, I didn't buy it in 1958. I'd only been seven years old. But um, my uh, mother was really into um, musicals and stuff. And she'd take us kids when we were little to musicals and 
when they'd come out. And so I kind of grew up liking this stuff. So that's why I got a bunch of these, and I show them occasionally. So that's which one? That's what I picked that as one of my categories, and I like listening to these. So I haven't listened to any for a while because I was caught up into a lot of other stuff. So. Those are my categories. Jazz, Buddy Rich, Psych Rock, Mr. Flood's Party, Blues, Can't Heat, Rock, Fleetwood Mac, and soundtracks, musical soundtracks, Music Man. So, there you have it, folks, for um, Jonathan's uh, Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector um, Contest for five different genres and Boy, I hope he pulls my name because uh, I haven't thought of what categories I'd like him to send me two records from, but I'm sure I can get something good out of him. I'm going to have the link below. Hey, let's see. He's trying to hit, I think, go over 1,500 uh, subscribers. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but that's his goal, and I'm sure he will. Uh, let's give him some support there and see what happens. Have a great week.